Okay, good afternoon, everyone. My name is Dale Bartholomew. I'm the National Technical Manager for Japan Steelworks America. And we're here today to go and show you our demonstration of our medical specification machine. This machine is our 100 ton ADS, the J100 ADS. And this particular model has a 110U injection unit on it. The 110U designates how much plasticizing material there is in the injection unit. And the 100 ton is 100 metric tons of clamping force. Because it's a medical spec machine, it's designed for clean room applications. So all of the sheet metal on top of the machine is powder coated. It's not painted to eliminate any dust inside of the clean room. It also has food grade grease for the FDA application grease. This machine also has magnetic clamps. It does not have any uh, mechanical clamps, uh, mechanical art, which is called our JMAG clamping system. It also has uh, stainless steel cladding all over the, the frame. It has a vented purging system to eliminate any gas inside of the clean room. So basically it's designed for clean room applications. The machine is also equipped with our partners uh, from Influx, which we'll get into that a little bit later. But it also has our remote access, which is a really great feature that allows our technicians to remote access into the control. Uh, if you're having any tr kind of problems, um, if the machine is having any sort of issues, you could email our service department, they'll be able to remote access in, and they could troubleshoot the control. And you could see that here. And here they could come in and look at the interlock screen, and you see what's preventing a certain function from happening in this case. We're looking at injection unit retract. While that's not retracting, we can come in and figure it out what's going on with the control. It's a very simple system to use. We could also make notes inside of the control where we could circle something and say, hey, your engineer's got to go over and take a look at this feature and see what's going on there. It's a really nice way to troubleshoot. It benefits us keeps us from having to send service technicians out to your factory, lowers your costs for having service visits. It's just a really nice feature. And with that, I'd like to bring up Brendan from Influx, and he could do a little bit of talk on the Influx system. Thanks, Dale. Thanks, Dale. Uh, Brandon Birchmeyer with Influx. I'm the Technical Director of Innovation for Influx. Uh, and the uh, influx process uh, is being utilized right now to mold uh, these parts. Um, the parts themselves aren't really that impressive. They're not really anything. Uh, but the runner system is awfully unique. This is, uh, if you've ever read any injection molding textbook, they say, don't do this when you're designing a runner. Uh, that's because it's very hard to process. Um, and the process limitations exist in order to try and injection mold something like this. However, when you use constant pressure processing, it automatically adapts to these drastic changes in geometry in the part and self-profiles the screw. So for the first time, the mold is actually controlling the machine. The mold matters. And the geometry in the mold is dictating the screw speed at all times. And it's adaptive technology as well. And we showcase that two ways. We'll actually block one of these cavities off. We have a scale back here where we'll block a cavity and show whether I'm molding one cavity or two cavities, I'm molding the same weighted part in both scenarios. So it adapts to changes in the mold instantaneously the other way we're demonstrating this is through uh, massive viscosity shifts. Uh, we're running a blue and a green resin. The blue resin is a 39 melt polypropylene post-consumer regrind. And the green is a 16 melt polypropylene post-consumer regrind. So from a 39 to a 16 melt change, and this is utilizing our auto viscosity adjust feature. It recognizes the change in uh, viscosity of the material and automatically adapts the process accordingly. So really, uh, Pretty neat adaptive molding technology. Um, if you're interested in seeing some of those benefits, we invite you to come on over and we'll, we'll show you how we do all that as well. Mm -hmm. Yep. Thank you. 
Some of the other things we have on this machine here, we have the, uh, the McGuire blender we have up on here because of the different materials that we have running and the different colors. We needed a multiple uh, blending material hopper, so McGuire was kind enough to give us that. We've also got plastics, uh, water manifolds in the back. The material we are running is all post-consumer resin from Ultra Poly. Uh, and we appreciate all of our vendors from giving us the support to be able to put on this kind of show. If anybody has any questions during the show, anything you'd like to see specifically from JSW or Influx, just feel free to stop by and ask any questions.